Well, good morning, church family. It's day three of our week of prayer and fasting. And uh, the theme of the week is Hear Our Cry. And today's theme is boldness. We are asking the Lord for boldness to be faithful witnesses of Jesus Christ. Uh, and that may require some uh, unique strategies in the season of social distancing, but boldness is required nonetheless to be able to share Jesus to people on social media or through a text message or a phone call. And I wanted to encourage you with this text of scripture from Acts chapter 4. Uh, this is the text where Peter and John, of course the disciples of Christ who uh, had been in just a few weeks earlier had been hiding, trying to avoid being caught and identified as Jesus's disciples. And in Peter's case, even uh, publicly denied being a follower of Christ. Uh, to the point here in Acts 4, just a few weeks later, but of course after the resurrection, after the giving of the Holy Spirit, we see very different men who are bold in their witness for Jesus. And listen to what it says as they're brought before the council uh, for the accusation of being followers of Christ. Here's what the council says. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men, they were astonished, and they recognized that they had been with Jesus. That's verse 13 in chapter 4. They decide they're going to threaten Peter and John and tell them, look, you uh, can go freely, but you may not preach in Jesus' name again. You may not be a witness for Jesus. And here's what they say. Peter and John answered them. This is verse 19. Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge. For we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. And of course, they go on and threaten them some more, and they can't really find a way to punish them, but they do tell them that they may not speak about Jesus anymore. And of course, they have just said they're going to continue doing that, and we know that that's exactly what they did. So what is the difference? Well, I've already mentioned it. Uh, it's Jesus and the Holy Spirit. It's the fact that uh, Jesus is alive and he is uh, reigning in heaven uh, in his resurrected self, and it is that the Holy Spirit has been given for boldness to be able to proclaim. In fact, uh, reminds me of a passage in uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 12, where uh, Jesus teaches these very disciples about the Holy Spirit. And he says, when they bring you before the synagogue, verse 11 here, and the rulers and the authorities, which is exactly what happened in Acts chapter 4, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. So here's three things that I want to encourage you with this morning as you give yourself to this theme for the day. Uh, first of all, uh, believe in Jesus and trust that he's alive and his testimony is worth sharing. Uh, secondly, trust the power of the Holy Spirit to give you the, uh, the boldness you need when you need it. Now, this, this text here in Luke 12 seems to indicate uh, don't prepare too much in advance. It doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared to give a reason for the hope we have, but in these circumstances that you're being uh, threatened by, and, and I think sharing the gospel with someone is, is an intimidating place. Uh, look for the Spirit to give in the moment what you need. And then third, step out on faith. Just step out. I think the most exciting times I've had as sharing my faith have been times when I've just, just stepped out and said, Lord, I'm just going to figure out the first thing to say, and then I'm going to need you to give me the rest of it. So I'm going to pray for you today, and I trust that you will ask the Lord for this boldness, and I promise you he will give it. So, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, and we recognize that we are weak, and we are often intimidated, and we shouldn't be, because we don't really want to be ashamed of the gospel or of Jesus. Uh, we just don't always know how to say it, or what to say, or who to say it to. So would you put someone in our path today? Maybe it's someone that we come into contact with, uh, because of where we go or what we do. Maybe it's a phone call that we can make or a text message we can send. Or maybe it's a post on social media, on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter that we can, we can post that tells people about what you've done in our lives and how uh, we want you to uh, be known by, by many more. 
but would you just put someone in our way that we can share the gospel with and then give us just enough faith, just enough boldness to take the first step and then to trust you for the rest. We pray that during this time of social distancing and in particular, the church not being able to gather in person, that you will build the church in supernatural and amazing ways. Would you please expand the kingdom uh, and would you give us the faith to see that you are adding to the kingdom even when we can't see them walk an aisle uh, or come and be a part of our church services? Would you help us to be uh, faithful witnesses and disciples of Jesus by sharing with someone today who you are and what you've done and how that can change everything about their life? We love you. We thank you for your love for us. We don't want to be ashamed of you or the gospel. We want to be bold. So Holy Spirit, make us bold. And Jesus, thank you for dying for us, that we could share your powerful gospel with those in need. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good day.